Okay, and I'm recording another episode of Resident Evil Village, or as it says here, Village Resident Evil. Um, so a couple quick things. Hi, welcome to my recording, my, my video, my playthrough. And uh, I'm really happy that people enjoyed me uh, suffering through Resident Evil on hardcore mode. Here's the thing though, apparently it's just that one segment. Time and time again, I heard that that one segment is both confusing and a little bit bullshit, even pe for people on standard mode. And so, I'm going to continue on hardcore mode as other people that have played it that I uh, trust their opinions and their thoughts so have said that the hardcore mode b uh, balances out nicely. So, let's give it a shot. I want to dig into the game because I barely scratched the surface of Village Resident Evil. And I feel like that first stream was just suffering through that, that main segment. But um, again, it's my own fault. Make no mistake. Like, sure, the difficulty balance I feel is a little off. I chose hardcore mode. Um, but also, apparently, standard mode, some people are just breezing right through it. So I think this will be good from here on out. And I'm okay if it's if it's difficult. Hopefully just less confusing than that one segment with the um the lichen clusterfuck. Also, is it just me or is um, the others are waiting? Does Ethan just have ho horrible hand luck? What the fuck is this? Outsiders, you're going to get us all killed. Quiet, Anton. He helped Leonardo and Elena. We were doing fine by ourselves. Please, Ethan, take a seat. Is this all that's left? From your entire village? All that's left. All that's left? There is no one left! A worthless invalid! A stupid, wailing bitch! And you! You drag a bloody man and an outsider in here like it's nothing and expect to be all safe? There is no safe! Every sorry bastard out there has been ripped in half. But tomorrow... Kind of wish I didn't play the demo now. <clears throat> tomorrow we'll all be dead. Just like her damn husband. <laughs> Put a sock in it, Roxana! That's enough! This house has protected my family for generations. And drunk or not, you are all welcome and safe in here. Whatever. Can someone please tell me what the hell is going on here? We don't know. One day we were a quiet, devout village and the next, the monsters came and attacked us. And they, they kept coming. Wait, Louisa, and... where is your husband? Did they? No. N no, he, he is out there. Somewhere. He, he, he went to get help. Yes, yes, that's... That's it. He, he went to fetch help. Let us pray. For him. <laughs> for all of us. The American accents are still bugging me Come. out. Like, truthfully, these Come. are, um... It's just a colony of Americans in Europe. In, in like, Trashylvania. Great ones, hear our voice. Together as one in reverence, we call on thee within the endless dark to deliver us. The animations are so good. As the midnight moon rises on black wings, so we make our sacrifice and await the light at the end. In also life, avoids uncanny valley cuz it's slightly stylized with your glory mother miranda now the tea should be ready come help me elena please that prayer i've heard it before there was an old woman near the graveyard <laughs> give me that mm. <laughs> oh, bitch is crazy as a bag of rats there is wisdom in her devotion though and I hope it protected her, as it shall protect us. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? 
Leonardo, what's wrong? Are you okay? No! Still, what a fucking scene. What a scene that is. Father! Elena, no, stay back! No, let me go! Maybe shouldn't have wasted the bullets, even, but... Let him go! Elena? I said no! <laughs> Blood splatter green screen dot YouTube dot AVI. Hey, that wasn't your father anymore. You did the right thing. Man, I hope there's a bolt-action rifle in this game, Elena, without no. a scope. There's nothing you can do! Papa! This entire place is collapsing! No. No. You couldn't save him. He was already gone. Leave me alone! No. We're getting out of here. Together. Ah, uh, this game has just been bad feel after bad feel. I mean, that's part of the charm, isn't it? It's Resident Evil. Um, I, I still am super excited to embark on this adventure. I, make no mistake, my first part... Is that... I don't know if I said this during the demo. Is that the blue barrel that lands on Worf in the episode of Star Trek The Next Generation? Where the hollow plastic barrel lands on his back, and it severs his fucking spine. It, like, destroys it. Anyway. Um, yeah, it didn't... It didn't sour me, the first part. Because, again, there's hope. As in, the rest of the game isn't quite as brutal as that one segment. Um, speaking of guns, though, I actually shot guns for the first time just as something to do with a, a friend of mine in New Jersey. We had a really cool time, and uh, you just have to sign up and everything, and, you know, it's very safe. Um, and guns, I never had a real desire to shoot real guns. I always was content with video game guns, but at a shooting range in a controlled environment, it was kind of cathartic. It was fun. Um, nerve-wracking, and still very loud, like someone was using like a fucking 50 caliber in, in one of the lanes, I think. And, um... Ah. Uh, and, uh, it just, like, you can feel it. If you're not, like, around guns and then you are, you can just kind of fucking feel it. Is that a rat in there? There's a rat tail in there. Unless that's just, like, potate. I think it's just potate. It's not... <laughs> it would have been fun if they mixed a rat in there for, for fun, but... Apparently there's an FOV mod for this game, so I might install that next time I play it. But I forgot tonight. Um, but yeah, I shot a Walther. I forget what it was, but it was a 9mm. Had a really nasty kick to it. In a, and it... My accuracy was not great. And, um... Eventually it got better, slightly. But then my accuracy was very good with a bolt-action rifle. I don't remember what, what it was. It was just whatever they had available. And it was just 22 rounds, which are very small caliber. Almost no recoil. And I was able to place my shots pretty nicely. Um, the, the safety person was like, have you ever shot a gun before? I'm like, no. But I wanted to say, I've played VR. And eventually I told him... <laughs> Because I kind of knew the parts of the- I- oh, I'm a fucking nerd, but... I knew the parts... ...that, you know, make up a gun, basically. And sadly, I have learned that through VR. Truthfully. And he said that a lot of people come in with Call of Duty experience. Damn, the fire's moving fast. Oh, and here I am just bullshitting. <coughs> But yeah, it was fun, and, uh, it was a good new experience. I want to have new experiences in my life while I, you know, you slow down Let's my streaming. 
We can bust out well, with this. My video making. My my entertaining. I do genuinely enjoy it though. It, that's why I do it. Also, I'm doing this tonight on Saturday. Because tomorrow I will probably be fucked up from my second vaccination shot because yes, I now have Windows 10 installed in my bloodstream. And the first shot was pretty nasty. It was Moderna. And the second one, I, they said, could be worse, so... I'm fine. Let me back up again. I'll just die in peace tomorrow. There isn't any time! Nowhere to go but up. Alright, let's do this. Let's go, Elena. Hurry! Let's move. My arm already Lord, feels try like not to someone punched it, and I just I got the shot twelve hours ago. Thank you, Ethan. Eight hours ago. I I'll be fine. Is safe. I'll be fine. I do too. Once we get out of here, maybe you'll get to meet them. Come on, it'll hold. <laughs> There. That's our way out. Oh, thank God. But what then? The village is still full of monsters. We can't fight them. There's too many. Hey. Hey, don't talk like that. We'll find a safe house to put you in until I can find my daughter. She's right, you my know. My hunch is she's in that old castle. No. That place is full of nothing but blood and death. And I don't want to be alone while you're... Father? <gasps> Elena, no. That's not him. Not anymore. <laughs> he said my name. Father! Wait, it's not safe. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Stay there. Uh. Come on. Give me your hand. Come on, Elena. S stand on your father's you back. Let's go. Save your daughter. Elena, yeah. don't give up. Come on. Reach for me. One positive thing has to happen. Ah! All right, never mind. Why is everyone dying on me? Yeah, I know. Seriously, Ethan. This is, this is just too much. Uh, all right. Well, we got to we got to carry on my wayward son this reminds me in and i know this is going to sound like an insult but this game the vibe just, of the game I don't get it reminds me of the wicker man and i again that's a very bad movie the nicholas cage one is is a bad movie it's a good bad movie i enjoy it very much because it's so stupid fucking movie is insane but I, uh, I just get, like, a little bit of a vibe. This place has gone mad. Yes, it has. Why the fuck is this happening again? Yes, I'll bet you have. Shit! Sorry. A little Han Solo quote. But, uh, yeah, the Wicker Man has, like, that kind of, like, cult stuff and burning <laughs> and bees. This is the house that kept them safe for generations. Allegedly.
So I'm, I'm formulating, like, is it fungus? Like, is that the matriarch of the town that now has fungus brain? I don't know. I mean, fungus brain is a real problem. So is cum brain. Okay. And let me tell you. Lady D. Matrisco, Lady D. Cum brained everyone. So there's there's another. There's a th there's a thingy here. That's got to be one of those thingies. Sounds like it's coming from several different directions at the same time. And and yes, I need to learn how to block more. It's a thing that I need to be better at, but I I will I'll will try. I'll try I will try. Get some LOD popping in there. Encoding overloaded. Consider turning down some settings, it says, in OBS. I wonder what video settings I can comfortably turn down. Consider turning down video settings or using a faster encoding preset. Wonder if I'm like destroying my GPU right now. It's a fucking 3080. Should be all right, but I don't know. All right. Well, I turned down the quality a little bit, but welcome to the next 10 minutes of the stream where I try to find the goat. And yes, I will be calling these streams just out of sheer force of habit for a long time. It's got to be, like, right here. Come on. Where the fuck is it? Is it just this? I think it's just that. Because there's, there's a... The same sound is over here, too. Yeah, it is. Fucking hell. Yeah, gonna need that FOV mod. Okay. Oh, that's the noise for the goat. I think. Think? Hmm. What? Yeah. Oh, it's this lady. <laughs> Everything is not the thing yeah, I think it is. Visited them all. <laughs> Wisdom. This is the face of wisdom.
gonna need the handle for those wells. There's the classic Resident Evil. Mechanisms that have no... No reason to work the way they do. Love it. Resident Evil is the perfect mix of over-the-top nonsense, fungus... Nothing but blood and death. Huh? Viruses and strange mechanisms of the occult. You, you could say that the series has its own tone. Hey, Pwn. Oh, puss. I'm onto some real hard-edged shit. Pokemon. Oh, sorry, I don't want to say it like that, because it's, it's actually Pokemon cards. Whoa. Just, uh, noticing some stuff. All games have LOD. Told you I was a marksman. It took that many shots. Take my time. Like Resident Evil 4 with the fish that you can shoot and get good fish for health. Is not helping me in any way. Oh, come on. They missed an opportunity to put a secret down there. Or here, too. Like a bottle that you could get to put bees in. Someone right now is doing the Captain America. I understood that reference moment. Which in and of itself is a reference. Which I understood. The Undertaker. You must be pretty tough. <laughs> this is voice. Who the fuck are you? Oh, you're not local. Even better. <laughs> Mother Miranda's gonna love you. <laughs> Magnesis, go. Um, I, I, you know, I for one. Wait, you're whining. We're almost there. I for one am cool with <laughs> America's Choice Undertaker. This is the lost member of Guns and Roses. 
but he went on to the form his own project. To anyone else, and my daughters do so well. Scums and posers. Bad joke. Furthermore, I can assure you that you entrust the mortal to house in the task. My daughters and I shall deliver to you. Uh, what? I want to see. What? He's awake. Brother, shut the fuck up. <laughs> what the fuck is this game? Where? You mean you'll screw around with him in private? Where's the fun in that? Give him to me, and I'll put on a show that everybody can enjoy. Ugh, so gauche. What do we care for bread and circuses? The man thing's suffering is assured. Yak, yak, as a man's dick is cut off in the castle, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> what? I've heard all your arguments. It, it really is nothing Some but trouble. Some of you were less persuasive than others, but <laughs> I've made my decision. Heisenberg, the man's fate is in your hands. Heisenberg. Mother Miranda, I must protest. Good reference. Heisenberg is but a child, and his devotion to you is questionable. Give the mortal to me, and I will ensure he is ready. Shut your damn voice! Ready. And don't be a sore loser. You ready? Go find your food somewhere else. Quiet now, child. Adults are talking. I'm the child. You're the one who's arguing with Miranda's decision. You wouldn't know responsibility if it was welded oh, to Oh, keep that growing. Hand. One day your head will actually fit your ego. Fight, 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 hey, fight, don't fight, I get a say in this? Silence! <laughs> My decision is final. There will be no argument. Who's Urukai? Remember from whence you came. Thank you. Huh. Lycans and gentlemen. We thank you for waiting. And now let the games begin. Let's see what you have here. Ethan Winters. Get ready. No! Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. What the fuck is happening? Ah, Jesus Christ! That's right. Run for your life. This is not how I expected this game to go, which is a good thing. Very oh nice. yeah, this is where Saruman birthed the Urukai warriors from like mud wombs. Goonies? It's just, you know, 35 You're years of pop culture absorption. Impressive. I'm gonna have a lot of references for you, sorry. Indiana Jones? We are going to die! Smiley face. Or sad face. <laughs> Why smiley? Oh, you don't think I'd let you get away, do you? Gotta keep Donna and Moreau entertained. So now it's time for the beautiful, blood-soaked grand finale. <laughs> Nothing like fresh American ground beef! <laughs> Says the man with the American accent. Too close. Wait, do those freaks have Rose? Well, one of them was in a band with Axl Rose. Why is this game inspiring terrible jokes? Why is my life inspiring terrible jokes? Great lighting. Look, the slime and the wetness looks appropriately as such.
that whole section of the game could have been cut out. And, like, I would still be here. I mean, it was, you know, you get to meet the villains and stuff, but I'm just saying. Ethan Winters, man of four hands. Four arms. That's right. Four, Ethan Winters has four arms and, get this, a whole 14 fingers between all of the arms. Better get an achievement for that. Now that's the bobble goat noise. Uh, I've been listening to uh, a lot of Elliot Smith, which, I mean, yeah, typical sad boy music, whatever, but it's, he's, God, he was such a good songwriter. Good arranger, good singer in his own way, wispy vocals and all that. Uh, great acoustic guitarist, amazing rhythm. Uh, but yeah, his songwriting is incredible. Lyrics are great. And I, I finally, see, I, I knew figure eight really well. I knew from a basement on a hill pretty well. And I knew his singles. But I've been listening to both EXO and either or full albums. Both phenomenal, even better than Figure Eight, probably. It's nice when you have an artist that you really like and then you discover uh, an album of theirs. For you, Mr. Like this dude, my favorite you know artist. My anyone who is anyone has heard of the likes of you. A hero searching for his daughter. Though I must say that castle arouses suspicion. Yeah, and so do you. <laughs> I am but a humble merchant. Here? Oh, forgive my manners. Call me the Duke. Now to business. Weapons, ammunition, healing salves, anything you desire, I can provide. <laughs> Love this guy. S Welcome, uh, Ethan. Mr. Creosote. I have something special today. Oh, you got... What's this? Samurai Edge. Why is it so cheap? Oh, it's the trauma pack. Shotgun rate of fire increase. Well, I'm going to get the Samurai Edge, of course. I'm going to make mines in the crafting menu. Snipe rifle. Shotgun ammo in the crafting menu. That seems pretty... This is all very interesting. Okay. Looking forward to testing it out. A customizable charm. Oh, the yes, again. I can see why. It's a yeah, it's a customizable thing because I I, I got the seventy dollar version of the game for some reason. <laughs> I feel like. This is, a. Uh, probably gonna want power, because enemies are pretty bullet spongy on this difficulty mode. I guess I don't really need any of it. If it's as valuable, I, I should just sell it. Little and often fills the purse, as they say. Pay me no mind. Delighted to. It's not a huge upgrade of attack. I mean, for how expensive it is, it should be probably more. Good day then. Oh god, get this bobblehead off of my fucking gun. Shall I choose something for you? Tell 
Until next we meet. I need to get rid of the gun. Not the gun, the, the charm. It's awful. <sighs> For fuck's sake. Resident Evil 8, how to remove charms from weapon. To remove, you can hide it from options menu, special display weapon charms off. Can only be... Displayed in the main, or, or uh, toggled in the main menu. Once you add a charm to a weapon, it can't be fully removed. The addition is permanent, can't be swapped. For fuck's sake. Options special display to off. Come on, Capcom. Is it a football player? Like, why do- why would I want that in my Resident Evil game on a gun? Should've asked myself before equipping it. We're already at the castle. I wonder if I missed anything in the village. Or if the village will be will show up again. I'm, I'm starting to feel the side effects a little bit of the, uh, second shot. It's, it's familiar to the first one. It's like a slight, weird kind of feeling. Fatigue-esque? Could Rose be here? Like I said, I'll be fine. I was fine after 24 hours with the first one. Rednick, delivery of one male, three females. Mother Miranda, meeting with Mistress Dimitrescu. The Duke, business discussions. Speaking of Duke, uh, Genesis is touring. And their tickets are stupidly expensive, as one would expect. I've got really into Genesis. More Peter Gabriel Genesis, but listen, I like Phil Collins' Genesis. Those first couple albums especially. Phenomenal. I know it's easy to hate Phil Collins, and I... I'm not really a huge, you know, Phil Collins guy. A lot of his stuff is just pop and, like, soundtrack stuff. But, man, his first solo album is great. Um... A lot of his Genesis stuff is good. He's a good singer. <laughs> Sounds more like Gabriel than Gabriel. But I, I am more of a Peter Gabriel Genesis fan. And more Peter Gabriel fan in general. That dude... is amazing. Okay, so... Um... Norshton's Labyrinth. A craftsman of the late 19th century, Norshton, or Norshtain, was branded a heretic in his homeland. He wandered the lands until he settled in a remote village. Norshtain then created four labyrinths, the castle, the house on a hill, the water wheel, and the iron tower. Upon their completion, he put a gun to his temple and took his own life. Each labyrinth is unique and requires its own specially crafted metal ball to operate. Each one contains crystallized human remains, which are said to be Norstein's four beloved wives. The labyrinths are their graves. I wonder if I get to play like a little mini game with a marble. Get to do marble races. All right, well, that's the uh, video. Never mind that there's probably like an hour, 20 minutes left. That's all just blank. Okay. I hope no one actually, like people that were invested in this, 
I hope no one actually just like clicked off. I was like, all right, well, guess that's it then. My nose is making the same noise, uh, noise as Ethan's nose at the moment. I know that's a weird observation. Like, what does that even mean? But mask the angel's blinded gaze. Something, something in a haze. Here's the bees. <laughs> Never walking again. <laughs> Mother, I bring you fresh prey. You are so kind to me, daughters. <laughs> How she now, gets so tall. Let's take a look at him. Well, well, Ethan Winters. You escaped my little brother's idiot games, did you? Let's see how special you are. Yes, mother. Yes, mother. You just get lost between them. <laughs> between all the characters in here. It'd be real easy to get lost. I am actually. I am. I am not okay with Starting that. Starting to go a little stale. Then let's devour his man flesh quickly, mother. But I am the one who captured him. Now, now, daughters. First, I must inform Mother Miranda. But later, well, there will be enough for everyone. Udama. <laughs> hey, hey, wait. Can you stop with the fucking knives and scythes? Uh, come on, Capcom. They knew what they were doing. Be careful what you wish for, Ethan Winters. <laughs> There's the famous pose. Wait, what, 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 what are you doing? <laughs> Ethan will never play guitar. <laughs> You know, they really need to stop doing this to Ethan. Come on! Fuck you! I don't like that. I do not like that. You crazy witches. Jesus. Will that grow the flesh back? I mean, it's Resident Evil, right? It's, f it's fine. But I gotta be honest, it kind of breaks my immersion a little bit. Not too much, because it's still video game land, and that's fine. It's like the Captain N television show. But what I'm trying to say here is, like, you don't, you, you don't just start firing guns after that. Even with maybe miracle herb juice. I don't know. There's just something very wrong about being carried off with scythes on your ankles, your Achilles heels, and then having your hands, like, gutted. I mean, it looks awesome, and it actually was very effective. And that's all that matters. Even the chair is big. No. This big booba lady has, has fucking destroyed the internet. Also, I think my, my memory is fucking horrendous, but I think there's differences between the demo and this. 
so as not to spoil some surprises, I guess. But yeah, like the blood stuff. No good. No bueno. No bueno. Freaked me the fuck out. So I did some of the castle in the uh, Resident Evil demo that I played, right? And, uh, some of this will be familiar. Kinda wanna see what this engine would be like, um, for like a game like PT. Or just something just straight up, like, um, what was that, Layers of Fear, like that kind of game. Amnesia. I mean, that's what this is with combat, of course, but e even... Just using this, and it looks so fucking good. I mean, it's also Capcom's art direction and you know, meticulous attention to detail, but um, it reminds me of Layers of Fear. Where have they taken Rose? Nipopolis? <laughs> Probably. Oh, we meet again. Duke, why are you here? Where there's coin to be made. <clears throat> and have you found your daughter? No. If she is truly here, the Lady of the Castle would have kept little Rose in her private chambers, would she not? Dalmitresk? The very That's same. That's how you say that? Why don't you take a look? Maybe you'll get lucky. And speaking of looking, care to make a purchase? Seeking something in particular? Whoa. Securing goods is more important than anything. Anything, my friend. If I know <laughs> Resident Evil, and I do a little bit, sometimes you can place things in other things to make them more valuable. It's one of my, um, one of my Resident Evil 4... What am I trying to say? The sentence isn't going anywhere. One of the things I like about Resident Evil 4, and other ones too, but in 4, I have very fond memories of placing the, the gems inside the things, and then selling for more money. Anyway, it doesn't look like that's the case here. Welcome. Your coin. Increase the number of slots available. Oh, nice. Extra inventory slots. Or I could make shotgun ammo. <laughs> what are you buying? <laughs> Just something an old friend of mine used to say. <laughs> Fuck off. That's great. That's great. A little self-referential humor. Good day, then.
Gunpowder, rusted scrap, and chem fluid. Fucking hell. It's like, do you want to heal or do you want to shoot? Choose wisely. Little bobblehead. It certainly sounds like there's like a little bobblehead goat thing. I've been wrong before about this. Not yet. I'm just, uh, getting immersed. I know it's- there's not as much commentary without a chat, but... That doesn't mean I'm enjoying the game any less. And- and, truth be told, don't get me wrong, I- I, I miss you, chat. I do. But, like I said, this is what I want to do for now, and I'm enjoying it. It's a different style of making content. Even though- the fucking noise. Even though, um, the word content is still kind of a weird word. But, uh, yeah, um... It's nice to have a chat as well. It's just... I'm good on that for now. Maybe for a while. Oh, we're getting some crusty frames. Maybe some loading zones. Yeah, if, if, um, if there's a way for me to get a little bit more performance out of this game without sacrificing visual quality based on my visual settings, maybe, um, let me know in the comments, and, uh, John Full Sauce and I can confer about it. Let me know. But, like, yeah, these are my settings currently. I got the frame rates locked to, uh, 60. Wait, what? This is 144. Color got weird there, but nothing else did strange. Yeah, I mean, I don't have on, um, well, I have the texture quality on pretty high. And you can still get even higher with the textures, too. But, um... What the fuck do you need? A, a 34,000 to, you know, to get, like, the max quality? Without... It's minor, I mean, the hitches are, like, super minor and not even that noticeable. But I, you know, this is something I do uh, get a little bit obsessive over. Considering I spent a lot of money on my, on my rig. And, not the GPU, though, because NVIDIA was, like, fucking amazing to me. I don't know if they will continue to be, but I'm just so fucking grateful I got that 3080. I love it, and I'm... I'm very lucky. Very lucky. But, regardless, the, G the CPU and all that other fun stuff 
that's the stuff that I want to make sure. Like, yeah, there was just a hitch there. It's like, is that Resident Evil or is that my rig? <sighs> I just, I can't listen to vases breaking. Not anymore. <laughs> this time, so in the demo, I got my ass kicked and wasted a lot of ammo there. This time, it's like, nope. June 9th, 1958 was my first day working at the castle today. I was shocked, most shocked, to see other staff were all women. The mistress and her daughters were very adamant that they wouldn't bite. It was quite peculiar. June 23rd, 1958. It's been two weeks since I started working at the castle, and I'm a little afraid. Another maid, Adela... Made a mistake, and Miss Daniel slashed her in the face with a knife. And at night, I can hear wailing as if ghosts roam the halls. I want to go home. July 8th. I don't know what to do. The young ladies were complaining. It was too hot and stuffy during dinner, so I opened the window just to crack. Shut it, shut it. Now they all shrieked at me in unison. I fear I may be taken down into the cellar, never to be seen again. Seen of again. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. It's time to leave. Here's what you do. You hit the road, Jack. Don't you come back. No mo it, uh, video removed. Sorry, DMCA still exists. <sighs> it's got to be incredibly inconvenient. For, uh, Lady D. To even exist in- in a world... ...where every doorway is- is a challenge. Dimitrescu? What, what records you got there? Get a collection. I have um a couple new records. Which record do I have? I have Marquee Moon by Television. It's one of my favorites of all time. And I got it on a, it's like a blue disc. And yes, I am getting a record player soon. It's gonna happen. But um Yeah, I got Marquee Moon and I got What's the other one? Automatic for the People, of course. Great album. There was one more that I got recently that I can't think of what it was. Fuck. Oh, Talking Heads Fear of Music. Again, I'm going for like my favorites. And you know, one of, usually one of each artist. A couple artists, I have uh, several. But they're, they're gonna look nice. I'm gonna have shelves with, and, you know, I'm gonna display them. And then I will listen to them. And I will make it a ritual where... It's easy. You could just literally talk to your... Alexa. ...app. Or whatever. And you can listen to whatever song you want. On YouTube or Spotify or whatever. 
It's so easy. But, I feel like with a record you get a different sound quality. And you actually kind of, you, you went to the effort of putting the physical album on, so Looks you may like as well... swing with some force. You may as well pay attention. Unless you just like to collect it for the art, which I, I do as well, like the, the album, you know, the discs being like kind of... Fun, wacky colors, that's always fun. But, um, actually listening, I think is nice too. But I, I haven't, I, I've only listened to my friend's records. Cause record player, I do not own, yet. It's a little hipstery. I, I will agree, it's a definitely hipstery in a, in a time where you, your phone can play every song ever. But I like it. As someone who, I didn't really get it until I made my own records. I, I didn't make them. I didn't, like, press them with my feet or anything. Is that how you make records? Like grapes? Like wine? But... I feel like... I feel like having my own discography on vinyl made me appreciate vinyl a lot more. And then also inheriting some of my mom's records. Like, um, Ram by McCartney. She had a lot of soul records, and like, uh, Isaac Hayes, Bobby Womack, some of that stuff, which I like a lot. And, um, I also got Physical Graffiti. So, uh, Lois. Uh, Zeppelin, Pink Floyd Wish You Were Here, original pressing, in pretty good shape. Like, the cover is a little the slight water damage, but mostly the, the actual vinyl is in great shape. And, um, pretty happy about having that. That's a nice one to have. Zeppelin 4 as well. Arena, Robust Appetite. Mahela, Robust Appetite. Lois, Robust Appetite. Ingrid, Unstable, Overly Alert at Times. Hmm. <laughs> We're uncovering the mysteries. But I don't really fully understand what's happening yet. And that's good. I don't... A little bit at a time. Here we go. This section reminds me of Dragon Quest XI, the dungeon slash sewer section. What a great game that was. Only fuzzy memories. <laughs> Not fuzzy memories. But fuzzy memories. Only fuzzy memories thinking about Dragon Quest XI. Fun Central. Even with the upgrades, for fuck's sake. I say compared to four. I don't like the bullet sponginess because I like popping the heads of the Ganados. Then 
They make some pretty good meat noises, though. necklace. In other words, the knife should just never be considered as a combat option, especially on hardcore mode. Got it. Just disregards own advice. Alright, it, it worked after two shotgun hits. I also don't like that I wasted some magnum. Wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. Powerful customized handgun. So this is power 110, rate of fire 0.4. I thought this was... I thought this was going to be a fucking... Um... Magnum. What, what the hell was I thinking? 2.6. Oh. I mean, aside from the base power, this is nothing special. Unless it's upgradable. It's got a silencer, though. Gotta fuck with that a little bit. I wonder if it actually does anything. I can't believe Cassandra caused all this mess. Jesus. That's not even a silencer. It that's loud. Which tools do you prefer? Lock picks and keys. A healthy man's blood. Mm. I can't wait. <laughs> Come on. Go, 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 go. Where are you going, little one? <laughs> what new traumatic injury will I suffer this time? <laughs> Bullets cannot harm. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you stupid man thing! <laughs> uh, I won't forgive you! You bastard! I know, I have to block. Fuck. I feel no pain! Impertinent man! How dare you bear your teeth at us! I don't believe it! Fuck! Okay, I probably wasted some ammo there. Uh, 
crystal torso. Oh man. Fucking rest in dust. Dust in peace. But yeah, um, made that ammo maybe a little too late. Celebratory bottle of wine. Sanguis virginis. Virgin stuff. Vintage bottle of wine ornamented with intricate silver flowers. Looks like it was bottled a long time ago. Another one was sent to the cellar. She had only spilled some soup. Everyone knows what happens when you're sent to the cellar. You're never seen again. They'll drain your blood, your soul cursed to wander the halls. I went looking for her, and when I found her, she was just skin and bones, gnawing on a rat carcass. I suspect it'll be my turn next. Lemmy Recoil Compensator. Okay, well, guess I'm using this now. Increased firepower. Oh, plus 30 power. Nice. Okay, well, sorry Samurai Edge, as cool as you look. I see no future. Unless you can be upgraded, in which case, maybe. Will there be a lockpick minigame? No. Meat swing. Very Resident Evil 4, I love that. like to be thorough and check everything. <laughs> Love the way this hallway looks. Chandelier is amazing. Isn't that good commentary? Me talking about, oh, the chandelier is nice. That's what you're here for, and I'm, I'm very grateful for that, because you could do this commentary in your head, but if you're watching, that's cool. I like doing commentary out loud. I do. Sometimes I like doing commentary in loud, but out loud's good too. I mean, that's why I do this. I don't really technically need to, but I like it. It's fun. 
Thanks to your consistent patronage, I've expanded my services. Ah, yes, yes. Yes. And what... What have you got? Oh, yeah. I don't really need that yet, but... Ammo capacity increase. The shotgun would be really good with that. Securing goods is more important than anything. Anything, my friend. What rule of acquisition is that? Quark! You don't want to hear about Star Trek. Six forty. These hands are more dexterous than one might think. Yep. Now the shotgun is good. It was good before, but this now it's all an investment. Now it's better. Have a wonderful adventure. Ammo is still going to be kind of difficult to come by. I only have two shots, and I kind of don't want to spend the money on more shotgun. Not yet. I know the game auto saves now. That's like part of the classic Resident Evil experience. That's something that is not here. But I don't mind. I mean, the typewriters are here. The safe rooms are here. I was never the hugest fan of, of the limited save system, but I... Having played a more difficult mode in Resident Evil 2 Remake, I grew to appreciate what it made you do. Which is conserve your ink. It made you really conscious of every decision. And how you managed not just your inventory. But also, like, your saves. I thought that was kind of cool. Great, let's go in circles. Um, but I, I also like the style of just save at the typewriter for free. Because my first Resident Evil I played through fully was 4. And so I joined a little late. I jumped in a little late. And, but when I played Resident Evil Remake, the first one, I understood much better. I was like, oh, this is... Like, the survival horror aspect of this game is because of this, this, and this. And it just made it so much better. And yeah, I'll be the first to admit that Resident Evil 4 is, like, action schlock mixed with some survival horror. But it works, for me, it, it works so fucking perfectly. It's brilliant. It's campy, it's over the top, the action's good, but it's scary. And it does have survival horror elements that I think really work. It's just not the same as Resident Evil 1, um, remake. Which I think is 
also a fucking phenomenal game. One of the best. Because I didn't have the original, I didn't play the original version, I played the remake. Which is, which is really good. What do we do with this wine? There was a, um, oh, wait. Up here, maybe? Oh, yeah. Yep. I mean, wine room. The winemaking techniques of Castle Dimitrescu can be traced as far back as the 15th century, long before the current occupants of the castle. Alcina Dimitrescu uses this legendary yet peculiar technique to enrich the wine's flavor intensely and bestow it with a thick bouquet. Her best vintage is Sangos Virginis, meaning Maiden's Blood. It's kept in a special ornate bottle decorated with intricate silver flowers. Ancient scummy wine mechanisms. Very nice. I see this picture. And I think what we do in the shadows. Which is great extended viewing if you like the vampire angle of this game and you want some good comedy. Both the movie and the TV show, both great. <clears throat> Strong wine bottles. <clears throat> Interesting how there are just random noises sometimes. Oh, I should go back and check over here. Like just, yeah, just random like spoop noises designed to either spoop or just have you turn around. Just look behind your back real quick. It's just house noises, but the, you know, vampire, um, lady vampire version. Speaking of vampires, so Castlevania is usually the series associated with vampires, but I'm happy Resident Evil is dipping into this. Lichens and vampires. I think more power to you, Resident Evil. Go for it. Uh, it works. Weirdly enough, it's fucking working for me. But vampire, um, I grew up thinking I give you the tour? vampires were lame. Shit. <laughs> anyway, I grew up thinking vampires were lame, and then I saw an interview with a vampire. With Brad Pitt and Tom Cruise, and then I thought they were even lamer. No, truthfully, that was a good movie. I don't know if it's still good, but that was like... You know, there's the Dracula stuff, which was, like, the classic vampire. But then you have that, and it was, like, long hair vampire men that looked like they were in My Bloody Valentine. Maybe that's not the right band, but... It was a different kind of vampire, and I thought... I don't know. I guess I thought it was kind of cool. I can see why Anne Rice sold so many novels. People like that shit, and then it turned into Twilight. <laughs> Whatever the fuck that was. We went from, yeah, Anne Rice, long hair, Tom Cruise vampire, 
to um, sparkle in the sunlight. And that was, um, yeah, that's a whole different kind of vampire, isn't it? Truly the, the only dark magic that those vampires were capable of was having um, Robert Pattinson successfully transition his career into a serious actor after that. I mean, clearly, they know I'm here. I is in Ethan. Like, um, the trash man, like, kind of let me go to kind of be left to my own devices and run away, even. So I wonder what that angle... Maybe they need to... Oh, maybe, I know, I, I think I get it. So here's my guess, right? This is my guess, because the reptilians do this, too. Okay, so my guess is that they have to torture... Not even torture, but just make Ethan, like, frightened. And, like, toy with him, and really fuck him up and get his adrenaline pumping. And, um... Just, like, heighten his negative emotion so that the blood is, is like, spicier, like the spice melange. So that it can be more potent, so that they will experience, it will either taste better or give them longer life. But, they have to play this little cat and mouse game with him because it sweetens the deal. That's my guess. It's like that one guy at work doing the Borat voice. Every day. Every day. For a year. And, like, all that build-up to when you finally jizz in a sandwich. <laughs> Sorry, I, you know what hasn't changed? Is me being, like, incredibly dumb. And making no sense. That That's probably gonna be like that forever. But, um, clearly you understand the analogy perfectly. Done to my daughter! Nope. Um... Well, she was <laughs> running after me with a sickle and bees. And then, uh, the window opened. Surely you can't blame the window opening on me. Maybe next time, when you make vampires, don't give them a very obvious weakness. Ablution. Hall of Ablution. I know that word. I've seen it before, and I never really thought to look it up. I want to find out what that word means. The act of washing oneself. Often used for humorously formal... Humorously formal effect. Not, like... Humor. Like, haha. <laughs> Maybe. Um, ceremonial act of washing parts of the body, or sacred containers. Okay. An absolution, probably, uh, comes from that word as, as well. They're like kind of in the same ballpark. Well, those are some nice graphics. God, we went from the Mario 64 metal pool to this. God damn. Isn't it nice that you've lived long enough to see video game graphics get this good? And also, like, survive a plague? 
hopefully. But, I mean, who the fuck would have thought? Who the fuck would have thought that was in any of our futures? It's nice that that's finally kind of, you know, things are opening back up and it feels more safe. It's been, uh, it's been honestly nice. I like to be home and play video games, but I also like to enjoy life outside. And, you know, weather and... Go out to eat. Go see a fucking movie. Go to that Sleep No More thing, which is still not around. Whoa. Which is still not open yet. I'm um, not going to explain Sleep No More again, but... If you've watched my stuff, you know I've talked about it quite a bit. It's, okay, it's Resident Evil 8 in real life. But everyone's wearing an eyes wide shut mask. Otherwise, I'm just gonna say look it up. It's a cool theater experience in New York City, but it's it seems like it's gonna be down. Down. Uh, it seems like it's not gonna be open for a little while. But when it does, I'll probably go back to it. I can already, um, in my mind, picture the sniff, the vine sniff emotes. A little sniffly tonight, and I'm wondering if that has to do with the, the vax. I don't know. Seems like a weird side effect. But... What the hell? Oh, shit. I fucking love the lighting in this engine. Still spongy as Gene Simmons' fucking fat dick. It's better, though. I mean, it's- it's definitely no- it's a noticeable difference. But, um... Yeah, they're getting- they're getting them bullets to the face. To the teeth, even. What a cool set piece. A fucking blood cellar. Always expect some something to be behind me while I'm fighting another thing. I don't think that's an unfair assessment because it does happen, or an inaccurate assessment, rather. It just happens a lot. There are many times in video game where you fight one thing, you look behind you, other thing appears. And then life sucks. Yeah. 
block, Ethan. It's like a second too late. Motherfucker! Where'd it go? Are you the same one? God, teleported. Yep. I will just say, Resident Evil is not a game to get lost in thought while playing. Bad idea. I don't regret hardcore mode anymore. In fact, I now think it was a good idea, because I'm enjoying the, um, ammo scarcity and having to, you know, be careful with your shots and, and health. <laughs> she'll never- nope, she'll never see him. God, Capcom! <laughs> I can't believe you! Mother Miranda, I regret to inform you that Ethan Winters has escaped that fool Heisenberg. Because he is in my castle and has already proven too much for my daughters to handle. When I find him... No, Mother Miranda. Yes, of course, I understand the importance of the ceremony. I won't let you down. Oh, oh. To hell with the ceremony! That man will pay for what he's done! Oh my god, this fucking game. I don't know, I kind of think she's just, like, kind of fucking around. Did I miss a thing there? Yeah, I missed a- I missed an entire fucking room. And now I can't get back, I think. I think I missed a room. That room. Come on, I wanna get back up there. Jump, Ethan! Come on, you can survive being stabbed in the- in the jugular.
I think maybe I'm just like... Rose, where are you? I think maybe I am being a bit of a hypochondriac or just like imagining things because I know I got the shot today. But, you know, my, my, my... I feel like a little weird, like whenever there's a little ache, I'm like, oh, is that the shot? And like, I notice that I'm now getting Wi-Fi. And it's, it's really, actually the Wi-Fi is excellent. I'm like connected to the internet in my mind. We were all called by Mother Miranda to decide, to decide the fate of the child's father. Just thinking of that family meeting makes me shudder. To think I'm treated like a sister to those miscreants. Especially Heisenberg. That Riff Raff wouldn't know proper manners if they slapped him in the face. I would have sliced him to ribbons if Mother hadn't stopped me. Why? Why does she treat me the same as them? She gave me this castle, obedient daughters, everlasting life, did she not? Am I not her favorite? Am I not special? I need a drink. Walked from the other side. What am I missing? Can't use the family photo here. Huh? It is now time to run. What the hell do I You ungrateful, selfish wretch! You come into my house! You lay your filthy man hands on my daughters! And now you even try to steal my property! How dare you! <laughs> Rest while you can! Because I will! Hunt you, and I will break you! Wow. Go ahead, do your worst. Her complexion looks a little unhealthy. In, in my... opinion. Everlasting life comes at the cost of your skin becomes ashes. Do you accept? I really want to get back to that room I missed. Probably like a fucking new weapon in there too. Knowing my luck. Currently searching, search complete. Yeah, there's the terrace. Hmm. I I don't know. Maybe maybe there's a thing. Maybe not. Maybe it's just a shortcut with some um Tresco bucks. I wonder when the next, um, big crypto craze is gonna happen. Ugh. 
Someone's gonna make Booba coin, and it, you know what? It, it'll do perfectly well right out the gate. It's gonna be, it's gonna be huge. <sighs> All right. Oh, shit! Like I'd let you get away. All right. You'll be sliced to ribbons before you ever see the child. Well, I guess the rest of the game. Um. You will learn what it means. I don't shoot. Fucking insane. Oh. No, Lady T, please. I, I need the rest of my limbs. I need my John Don't Thomas. My please. Please grow back. Come on! It's it's a miracle cure. I, I get it now. It's fine. If I can shoot a gun in a second, you can move the. <laughs> Good. Good. Man, screw this castle. <laughs> Come on. I was hoping it would involve the wine. Where, like, you'd, you know, Ethan would find out that the wine had regenerative properties. I'll try to go back up to the terrace, if possible. Probably, uh, um, I might have to go through the blood pool shit again. So the terrace is here. Hmm. Doesn't appear to be a way. Jesus. Exploding knees much? You know what? I'm not going to complain about the accuracy of the body horror. Like, ever again. Just going to go with it. Just going to go with it. I mean, there's no point. Dude just put his hand back on. It's a safe point. Boy, do I feel like a twat now.
Because the terrace just isn't connected. It says exploring, so I wonder if there's still... Yeah, there's, a, there's an herb. I mean, I'd be happy with that. At least it's something. To re reward my... Uh, coming back here. Okay, we're done here now. It was an herb. Just weirdly well designed to the point where even I, an idiot, can find my way through that. And it wasn't as maze like as I thought it would be. It's just like, alright. Go through it. Distillery. So I guess there's an item down there that I missed. Listen, if I missed like a rifle or something, I'm gonna be pissed. I feel like it's almost new weapon time. This is about as far as one could stretch these two weapons. Lipstick. Fucking huge bathtub. Too many missed shots. Castle map annex. Okay. I wouldn't want to live in this castle. It looks drafty. And just, like, unkind. I feel like this is the type of castle you'd stub your toe. And, like, your sides would, like, knock into these fucking corners. Constantly. Piano down there. It wouldn't have been worth wasting the ammo on that. Shotgun. That would have been a very terrible idea. Flower Swords Ball. Bring that back downstairs at some point.
One day since treatment, three girls have stopped moving. They seem almost dead. An insect flew out of the eldest's mouth. It appears to be a common fly. Two days since treatment, all three bodies are covered in flies. It appears the flies are consuming their flesh. When I opened a window, some of the flies dropped dead to the floor. It would, su it would seem the cold petrifies them. I quickly close the window to avoid weakening the insects further. Huh. Four days since treatment. All three bodies have almost been completely consumed by the insects. All that's left is a dark, writhing, human-shaped mass of creatures. It's just after noon, and the insects have started to change color. Those around the face turned pale, and those around the lips turned a deep crimson. Six days since treatment. The massive insects have transformed into human bodies again. All three girls awoke, looking at me like newborns, and since a bond between us, like mother and daughters. I have already decided their names, Bella, Daniela, and Cassandra. Bella, the Twilight Stewart. Play sharp. Man, I wanted to play the eyes wide shut thing. And no, I can't read music. This musician, you should you not treat music. <laughs> Who is this person that just said that? There's no chat. No one said that. But no, it's it's true. A lot of rock, like musicians that I look up to, never really learned how to read cheap music, and not that that's an excuse. You know, I just never did, um, and I would like to further my musical knowledge here and there, but there's also kind of a part of me that likes keeping myself in the dark a little bit. It's hard to explain, but when writing, I like that I'm not trying to craft theory. Not that I'm a good writer in my own estimation, but the point I'm trying to make is it's kind of cool to view music still with some mystery to it, because when I hear something I like, I can, you know, play it. I can read chord, and tab. So if you told me to play an F sharp major seven on a guitar, I could play that. Scientific name none, size five to six centimeters. Similar body structure to blowflies, although there are differences in the head. They're carnivorous and vigorously consume meat. In order to catch unsuspecting prey, they'll gather using pheromones to mimic a human. They're produced when a caddo lays eggs in its host, but the flies themselves are unable to reproduce. They are weak to sudden drops in temperature, especially if the temperature drops below 10 degrees Celsius, 50 Fahrenheit. Their metabolism lowers and they go into dormant cryptobiotic state, similar to the cryptobiosis of the tardigrade or a polypedalum... Poly, polypedalum vanderplanky? I, I know those words. I know what a tardigrade is. The panda planky? I don't know what that is.
There's still some... Uh, there's an item in the courtyard somewhere. Still an item in the courtyard somewhere. Wacky head movement. What a well-designed castle this is. Like, just from a video game standpoint, too. It's a pleasure to see you safe. How were things? No sign of Rose. I'm so sorry it turned out that way. Well, you'll find your way to her once you're out of this castle. Do you have need of anything for the road ahead? Welcome, welcome. You're sure to find... Find what? Something new. Oh. It's like Captain Toad, but with ball. Let's see. Let me know if you need something. This is cool. This is not cool anymore. Get a good view. I guess part of the challenge is that you can't see shit. At least over there. Oh, oh. Seeking something in particular. Um, this. Congratulations. With this, you'll not worry about missing anything. Okay. Oh, cool. Valuable items. Ah! Securing goods is more important than anything. Anything, my friend. Hmm. greatly increases ammo capacity. That's all well and good, but maybe, like... Maybe, um... Some other stuff... first? I'm gonna save the money. Just I hope this one makes I'll buy that and then save the rest. I'm skilled at all sorts of weapons modification. Have a wonderful adventure. Okay. Seems like a good place to stop.
A little over two hours, it's good for me. And I also... am, uh... Get, getting kind of tired. Been sleeping earlier. And getting more daylight. And, uh, I don't know if the shot knocked me out as well, but... I'll see how I feel tomorrow. But, um... Yeah, no, now this game is, is great. Like, again, that one segment that took me an hour. That was not great. But this is now... This is now going quite well. Well, it took a lucky guess. Okay, so there's more masks. Um, but yeah, no, the game is, is actually very good, and the difficulty is fine. After that one spot, it worked out. I like it. And... This is what I was hoping for from hardcore mode, more or less. I just want another weapon. The hell was that, dude? Oh, don't, you, don't set yourself on fire. Alright, well, thank you for watching this. I, I really do appreciate it if you are watching. Again, if I was playing this just for fun, which I would be doing anyway, um, this is the kind of stuff I'd be thinking in my head. So, this is now just me m more or less saying some of the wacky stuff. Wacky? Out loud. But, yeah. Yeah. Resident Evil Village, good game. I'd like to play more Pokemon Snap soon, too. I just don't know when. I'm still taking it kind of easy. Um, yes, there are still constant uploads, but it's still a lot less than usual. Like, the amount that I'm... The amount that I've been um, recording is less. Which... It's been nice. That said, I want to play more Pokemon Snap and Resident Evil 8. I don't know when I will play both. Um, but next week, I'd like to get some more... Some more video up and some more gameplay footage in. Gameplay time in. So, uh, take care. Thanks again for everything. And I hope you have a good evening, day, morning, whatever it is. And, uh, thanks. Take care. Goodbye.